Alright lads, let's get straight to the point here. If you clicked on this video, you're looking for a fun Connie build to piss off killers with. And I am here to give you one. This build also works as a good solo build for those of you who don't have any friends. <coughs> me. <coughs> the perks this build consists of are Lucky Lockpicker, Must Have Been the Wind, and Bomb Squad. Although some of these can be interchangeable. To get these perks on Connie's skill tree, you're going to want to go up, then left, and then left again. If you already want a different route, no worries, because you're always able to respec your tree. Out of all the perks I've experimented with so far, I feel like these perks fit Connie the best. Especially Lucky Lockpicker and Must Have Been the Wind. With that being said, let's delve into these perks. The first perk that I want to talk about is Lucky Lockpicker. When unlocking a door for the first time, Lucky Lockpicker gives you a 30% chance of not breaking that tool. At level 2 it rises to 40 and at level 3 it rises to 50. The only downside about this perk is that it's only the first time you're opening a door, which is really unlucky, contrary to the name Lucky Lockpicker, but it does have a high chance of 50 on the max level. So it's a massive help though, since Connie has the highest proficiency in the game. Now not only can she open doors at like the speed of light, but now she won't even have to worry about collecting another lockpick after doing so. So the second perk in this build is Must Have Been The Wind. And this perk pretty much disregards any sound that you make when opening a crawl space or searching for an item. At level one, you're able to activate this three times. So it is three charges and at level two, four times, and at level three, five times. In my opinion, must have been the wind goes hand in hand with Lucky Lockpicker, and let me give you one example why. At the very start of the match, you will be able to get two lockpicks very quickly without making any sound, and then you'll be able to open one of those doors without even breaking a lockpick. And that's a 50% chance that you have at level three there, so that's pretty high. Now, if you would like, you could switch out Lucky Lockpicker for Efficient Locksmith. So, Efficient Locksmith is a pretty good substitute for Lucky Lockpicker. It gives you a chance to not consume your lockpick, not only the first time, but every time you unlock a door. At level 1, there's a 20% chance, and at level 2, there's a 30% chance, and at level 3, there's a 40% chance. So, to get this perk, you have to follow the same path that I already mentioned, but and then take a right. So, you're going to want to go up, then left, then left again, and then right. So the third and final perk in this build is Bomb Squad. And essentially, Bomb Squad allows you to dismantle a trap without the use of a bone scrap. So at level 2, this perk allows you to dismantle traps 50% faster, and at level 3, 80% faster. So this perk is absolutely huge. It fits in perfectly with Connie's kit, and being able to dismantle traps without wasting an inventory space is amazing to say the least the one upgrade that i think everybody should have for connie's ability tree though is level three of the middle path this upgrade will allow you to use a focused without any stamina cost and if you could just imagine using focused to open the door if you're in a rush so say the killer is right behind you you need to open that door you use focused instantly unlock that door right in front of the killer and then you could sprint away with full stamina and as for skill points i would definitely throw some skill points into toughness some into endurance and some into strength as you see fit i feel like there is no need to throw any of these into stealth or proficiency since these are her highest stats by default now if you want to be an asshole and throw some of these points into efficiency and do tasks even faster than you're already doing so feel free but this build has worked out for me around 90 percent of the time the only major problem i have is when all three killers decide to want to give me a group hug at the same time but that's about it anyways that's all i have for you guys today and let me know what character you guys want to see next, and if you have any fun build ideas, feel free to share them in the comments below. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.